everyone. Uh, thank you for joining my channel. This is Dr. Festos, and if you're joining for the first time, please kindly uh, subscribe to this channel, share the video, and also click on the notification bell so that you'll be able to get uh, uh, updates from my channel. Thank you very much. Uh, this today I want to talk about how to. I want to show you how to uh, georeference digitize uh, scan map using KGIS. You know, for some time I've been, I've been uh, teaching about how to use a KGIS for so many GIS at work. So uh, sometimes people want to use a particular, want to get a particular map or a particular location, and the shape file of that location is not available at that moment. And uh, once you can lay hands on the, the, the uh, on the scanned map of that particular area, you can then use the scan map to produce, you can georeference the scan map on the image to be able to now produce what you want to do, the uh, GIS work that you want to do, you want to produce a study area map, a smoother to, uh, to uh, GIS uh, related work, you can georeference the map, digitize it, and then uh, and then produce your map. So uh, the first thing is just like you are you are creating a feature that is already on the map, you are creating that feature by yourself, and then so that you'll be able to use it to uh, produce what you want to produce. Uh, so, the referencing is you are attaching location, location to a particular uh, scan map on a GIS environment, on a spatial environment. So, these are the two things that work together to referencing and digitizing. Now, I want to reference this map of Nasrallah State, Nigeria. Uh, so, what I want to do is just to uh, I search for the map here, okay, and then this is the map I'm interested in. So I just right click on the map and then save it as an image. So I save it as an image. Uh, so, and then I click save. So it's saved as a JPEG image. Now, after saving the map, you can get your scan map from anywhere. Once it's a picture, then you can use it for georeferencing and digitizing. All right, let's be very fast. Uh, so I come to my KGIS. So just open the KGIS. Uh, so uh, the KGIS, then the next thing I will do is to uh, go to what you call raster. See this raster uh, on the menu bar. Go to raster on the menu bar and then click on uh, georeferencer. And see georeferencer, just open this georeferencer. And after you have done this, you can then go to this particular picture here, open raster, because your scan map is a raster file. So open raster, click on open raster, and then navigate to where you have the scan map. Uh, so you can use it for what you want to do. So this is my scan map. So I click on this, and I click open. Now you can see the map is already open from the KGI software. Now, in georeferencing, the first thing you need to do after you have opened this, uh, the, the scanned map that you want to produce in a digital form, you need to click what you call, you need to have control points. Control point is that you are attaching the live location. You know the map you are working on, you know the here you are working on. So you, know, you just need to get the latitude and longitude of the area that you are familiar with, area that are very, very easy for you to, uh, to, to recognize. You need to attach latitude and longitude, the coordinates of those areas. So when you have those coordinates, it will be uh, you're already in the, in the way of uh, georeferencing the map. So I'm going to select, uh, usually in georeferencing, you should try to select at least Four control points. Four control points. You can select more than that, depending on your own choice. So, uh, but let it not be less than four control points. Now, so I'm going to uh, select this point as my control point. This point here, and I'm going to select this point 
and then uh, okay, let me also select these points here, and then lastly, I'll select this point. So, uh, how to do this? Uh, just go to uh, okay, you see this icon, add point. You see, add point is just here, just click on add point. When you click on add point, then you can go straight to the point that you want to add a uh, the point of the map where you want to select. Uh, you want to add the coordinates. Just click on this. So I click on this. Once you click on this, and then this will pop up. Normally, if you have a magic around this, you can just add it here, uh, X and Y. But another easier way to do it is to go to this place where you can navigate to the map, the live map. The live, uh, you know, uh, what's it called? What we call it map canvas. So you can get the points, the coordinates, you can get it from uh, map canvas. So just click on map canvas. So it will bring this uh, blank uh, space. So you will now go to HCMG. You can see this from my menu bar. HC, HCMGIS. Normally, if you are using KGIS for the first time, you may not have this uh, plugin. So what you need to do is to go to plugin, go to plugin, uh, then click on manage, manage and install plugins. So that you can install this uh, HCMGIS. All right. So, uh, so because I've already uh, typed here, let me just. So now, when you click on that plugin, manage and install plugin, this will come up. Then you can type this plugin HC. You can see MGIS. Right. If it has not been installed on your CGIS, you will see it will come up like then you click on it. And then click install plugin. So because I have already installed it, so there is no need to. You know, now it is showing uninstall, so I don't need to uninstall. But if it's for you for the first time, you have to install the plugin. Then after you have installed it, you can close uh, the plugin. Now, so after installation, the plugin will come up here on the menu bar, and you can click on it, and then go to base map. You can see base maps. There are different types of base maps here that you can use. But well, usually, uh, we will use a, a Google Satellite Hybrid. You can use any other one. But well, let's use this. Uh, let me use this Google Satellite Hybrid. So I click on it. Now this map of the world, this uh, satellite image of the world will come up. So I can then zoom, just zoom to the location that you're interested in. Uh, let me return back this. Uh, let me take this uh, this uh, icon pan map. All right, so you just zoom, zoom to the area of your interest. Uh, I'm interested in Nigeria, Africa. So I'll just zoom to where uh, Nigeria is. Okay. Okay, so right, this is Nigeria. Uh, so I'll just zoom in, zoom in now. I'm interested in Nasarawa State, so I just move to where I have Nasarawa State. Yes. All right. This is my Nasarawa State. Okay. All right. This is my Nasarawa State. Yeah. Uh, you, you may not be able to see clearly, but you can just use your own. Uh, if you can look carefully, you'll be able to see this is the boundary of Nasarawa State. It goes like that, okay. not like this, not like that, like this. And then because I, uh, I, uh, because if I check, if you check the normal map, you see that is exact, exactly how it is. So now I want to pick this point. Don't forget, let me go back to. Uh, the georeferencer. Now, like I said, I already selected this point as my control point. So I just need to pick the latitude and longitude from the uh, Google Kite uh, hybrid. So I just click back on this and then drag your mouse to where you have that point that you want to pick it to the point. And you pick, just click on it. Immediately you click on it, this will come up. 
then you can click OK. Now, I want to add, the second one I want to add is this point, this point. So I click on it also, once I click on it, all right, this will come up and go back to from map canvas. So then for me to be able to zoom or to shift the map really, I have to return back this, I have to pick this, uh, this map map. Uh, then I can then pan into the area I'm interested in. Okay. Yes. So this is the area I am interested in. This place. This place. So I can then go back to the, the referencer and pick up. Uh, to be sure that that's the area, this is the area I'm interested in, okay? Then you go back to the from map canvas, all right? Then I can pick this area, this is the area I'm interested in. So just pick it immediately to come up, then you click OK. Now I have already selected two control points, one here, one here, and then I want to pick another one down here. So I click on it also, uh, then, Go back to the map canvas, then I pick this icon and then shift the map down uh, until I see where I am interested in. Uh, somewhere here, somewhere here. This is where I pick. All right, so I'll go back to the reference and pick that thing again. All right, uh, so I pick on map canvas again to be sure. So I click on it and then. Uh, and pick this point that I'm interested in. So I'll just pick this point. Now click OK. Now the next point I want to pick, the last point is this place. So I click on this one again. Um, and then go to a map canvas and pick this one and drag the map to the point I'm interested in, which is this place. This place, okay. So, uh, so I go back to the right, then pick the points that I'm interested in. Right, okay. Then click OK. And after that, I pick four different control points. So. The next thing for me to do is to do what we call to start, click on start georeferencing because I already selected it on the part. I need to now start georeferencing. So click on this start georeferencing. Uh, okay, never mind. Let's, let's take it, uh, click on it again. Uh, sorry, you need to first do what we call transformation settings. Transformation settings. You select what you want, select transformation type to the polynomial one, the sampling method to the nearest neighbor. Uh, this one, leave it as this. Uh, okay, then, okay, and click OK. Then click start your referencing. You can see now, your reference successful. Your reference successful. That means the map is already georeferenced. So this is how to uh, georeference the map uh, in uh, the QGIS. Uh, so we also need to uh, After you have done that, then the next thing for you to do is to now uh, go back to this uh, georeferencer and then save GCP points. So you need to save the point that you have selected. Then you can save it uh, uh, any how you want to save it. So, so I just save it. 
Astana Sans, the post code map in and then click uh, uh, save. So that is done. So this is the end of georeferencing. And then uh, please kindly subscribe to this channel and like the, the video and also share the video and click on the notification bell. So in the next video, I'm going to talk about how to digitize this same map. Now this map is already georeferenced. And so even if you close this uh, georeference app, you can see the map, uh, okay, let me uh, show you that the map is already georeferenced. So let's go back to where I picked the map from. Uh, you can see it's already showing modify. This is the map now. All right, so let me build this map up in QGIS to be sure that it's already georeferenced. Uh, so, so go to add layer, layer, add layer, add raster layer, add raster layer. So I can navigate to the point where I have the folder where I have the, the file. So, uh, so this is the, the folder. And then this is the natural state postcode map modified. So I click on this. And then open, then cut, and then close. You can see it is already added to the uh, the the KGIS uh, interface. Now uh, let's check the, the property of this map to be sure that it's correct. So I click on it. I click and go to properties. So on the properties, go to source. You can see the source is already showing that the map has a geographical coordinate system. All right, so that means it is georeferenced. So let's just uh, uh, close this. And then uh, I want to show you something else. So if you uncheck this, uh, uh, this natural state map, you will see this is what you will see. You see the boundary. Now, if you bring it back, you will see that the same map appear on top of the boundary. So let's bring it back. You can see the same map is appearing on top of the boundary, which shows that this map is already assigned to the location. It's already georeferenced, so we can then digitize the, uh, the features of the map uh, later. So we'll do that in the next video. Thank you very much. Uh, then, uh, I'll meet you in the next uh, video when I'll be showing how to digitize uh, the same map that has already been by uh, your reference. Thank you very much and have a good day.